Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be doing a quick benchmark of City Skyline on Ubuntu versus Windows 8.1. So a couple of things first, this is not a frame for frame comparison, nope. This is also going to be running on OpenGL 2.1 versus Direct3D11. I know it's not a fair comparison, but there is a reason for this and I'll explain it in the summary of this video. We're running exactly on the same hardware here, only a different operating system and a different rendering API. It's all 1080p throughout. It's only going to be a small city because I've only just started the game, so that's the, as best as I can do for now. And the driver versions are 346.47 uh, on Ubuntu, 347.52 on Windows, the absolute latest for each platform. So let's go right ahead into the video. Alright, starting off, we're going with the absolute lowest possible uh, settings that you can set the game to, still at 1080p. So on the left side is Ubuntu 15.04 and on the right side is Windows 8.1. Now I'm using Vogel Perf, Valve's way of showcasing frame rates on Ubuntu and on Windows I'm using MSI Afterburner to showcase the frame rates. So the menu frames don't really matter. Once we get straight into the game, we're going to see the frames up close and then at the distance. And we're going to try and go through two different scenes here. Alright, starting right off, we're at semi distance, we're not fully out. Windows is pretty much near the 60 range while on Ubuntu we are reaching about 40 range here so the Linux port is still struggling quite a bit. Once we move in, then we see the Linux port drop down to what looks to be about 30 frames per second while the Windows port doesn't seem to be phased at all. Both are running on the absolute lowest settings. Once we move all the way back out, we are looking at 60 still on the Windows side. The Ubuntu port has gone up to almost 50 frames per second. Now we move into the heaviest part of the game which is straight into the city where there is a lot of models and a lot of things going on. This is where the Linux port seems to struggle the most. We drop down to 20 frames per second while the Windows side still seems to maintain 60 frames. Doesn't seem to have an issue there. And lastly we move back out again on both sides just to double check and yes we are running at about 40 plus frame rates on the Linux port while the Windows side has 60 plus frame rates. So next up, we're going to go with all settings on the very absolute highest, practically the max settings. Once again, Ubuntu is on the left side and Windows is on the right side. So I'm going to try and go through the same scenes. They are not going to be perfect because I am using a timer to try and move through the scenes. There won't be any turning arounds or anything like that. This should be relatively the same scenes that we saw just now, just with different settings. So we're about to get right into it. Remember this is max settings, pushing both systems. The Windows side at this distance from the plane seems to be at about 60 while the Linux port seems to be at about 26 frames per second. Alright, when we move in, the Windows side still remains at a good 60 but the Linux port drops down below 20. We're seeing it at 18 frames per second. It's rather peculiar that it does this but the scenes look exactly the same in both sides so that's at least a good thing here. Now moving all the way back out, now the next port only stays at 30 frames per second. The window side is still sitting at a safe 60. So now we move into the city which is the hardest of all. And the Linux port really struggles here. It drops below 10 frames per second. The window side drops as well but it only drops to about 50 frames per second. So it's heavy here but it's extremely heavy on the Linux port which is very frustrating when you want to play this game seriously move in and out. Playable, most definitely playable, but the frame rates are relatively bad for the Linux port. Summary time! So right off the bat, you're going to notice that the Windows port definitely takes the lead. Especially when you go into the high settings and you go right into the scene, you're going to see a 30 to 40 frames per second difference. It's pretty large, but when you put it onto low settings, it is playable on Linux. Now if you have a lower end graphics card compared to mine, you're probably going to suffer quite a bit more. So is the Linux port doomed in terms of performance at least? Because from the graphical aspect and the gameplay aspect, everything is pretty much the same. Well, there is still hope. I honestly believe there is. According to Lion Dawei of Gaming on Linux, before the release, he was able to reach at least upwards of 100 frames per second. It was only a couple days before release that they seemed to have nerfed the performance and brought it down 30 frames per second for him. So there is a possibility that when they were trying to rush for the deadline, they probably screwed up or put an inefficiency somewhere in their game. Hopefully they can fix this and in time we'll get better performance. I really hope so. I love the game so far. 
So on to the more important aspect is why is this comparison OpenGL 2.1 versus Direct 3D 11? This goes towards Unity and it's the first time that I really feel off-put by how Unity operates. You know, I can live without Linux editor, but this... Unity basically supports only OpenGL 2.1. Why? Because it has to support the platform with the lowest uh, OpenGL compatibility. And at a uh, previous time in history, that lowest platform was the Mac OS X operating system. It held us all back. It only supported 2.1. But as of OS X 10.7 line and above, it started supporting newer OpenGL versions. So now, Unity doesn't have a reason for not supporting the newer versions, so I don't know what's holding them back. That's why, when we run it on Windows, we're getting Direct 3D 11 because they support that, but on Linux and Mac, and even if you were to run it in OpenGL mode in Windows, you'd only be getting 2.1 uh, OGL support. It's pretty bad. We lose out on performance, we lose out on features when they do this. There's definitely no tessellation when they do that. I really hope they rectify that issue in the future. So that's quite a couple of bad points, but a possibility in the future for a couple of good points. So let's end this on a bit of a good note. Uh, the executable is 64-bit, which is really nice. I like seeing that. I just like to see more and more games support this. And it, even though with the lower frames per second, it is playable for me at the very least. You may have noticed that it's capped at 60 frames on the Windows side and occasionally on the Linux side. That's not my doing. That is apparently either it's hard-coded to stop at 60 frames per second or there is internal vSync being turned on. I cannot confirm or deny either one. All that can be seen is that it is running at 60 frames per second and that there is no config file to change this. So that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. I hope it was informational in one way or another for you. And thank you for watching.